Once again, it's on people. I am Brian Redman. This is the Relationship Rehab. And today's segment is gonna be about life traveling. So when we're talking about traveling through this life cosmos, getting to our happily ever after or our journey, whatever that we have in life. I came up with some points that I wanted to uh, give to you guys on just how to stay, you know, on task, how to stay on that particular route that you need to get to so that you can achieve your goals. And uh, these are some things that I hope that can help you. So uh, let's dive right in. First and foremost, uh, and this is like in basically the context of like being in a car. So when you're in a car, you're on the road, you're driving. This is some of the things that I want to tie this back into. So traveling, car, yeah, bring it together. You know how I do. So first and foremost is going to be don't take unknown exits, right? Uh, or shortcuts. So don't take unknown exits or shortcuts because ultimately they are not where you're truly trying to go when you try to take a shortcut or a detour and you're not really aware of of where you're going and why you're doing it as opposed to just saying well i'm gonna do it just so i can try to get here quicker then you usually wind up getting lost you usually wind up going out of your way or you usually wind up having some type of hazard whether you get a flat tire whether you get into an accident because you're not really familiar with the terrain you're not really familiar with the area don't just dip off of the road just thinking oh i could probably get there quicker by doing this Go through the process, trust the process, and, and do what it is that you need to do so that your journey is gonna be one that you can say, hey, this is what I did, I did it the right way, and I got there, right? So <clears throat> don't take unknown exits or shortcuts. Next point is um, don't let advertisements and billboards distract you from your destination or goal. So when you're driving on the highway sometimes, you can see big billboards and they can be, hey, try this, or stop off here or if you want this it's right here go do this whatever the case may be don't let those distract you from your destination or your goal because if you keep getting off off that highway or getting off that road to go and do these things then it's taking more time to keep you from getting to your destination so it makes your your journey much longer and sometimes you can get off on the wrong exit or trying to go try that new thing or this other different thing along the way and it might take you somewhere where you're not really trying to go, like I said before, but you don't want an advertisement or you don't want a billboard to keep you from getting to your goal, right? So make sure that you don't pay attention to them. If you see them, great, look at it and keep going. Keep going, don't stop off, don't settle. Don't say, well, I'm not gonna go all the way to this one, I'm gonna stop off at this one and just stay here. Don't do that because you'll regret it, okay? Um, next is gonna be, and this one is like really, really important, and a lot of people can definitely use this. Stay in your lane. Don't worry about other drivers and keep your eyes on the road. What do I mean by that? Don't drive in your car and be talking about how somebody else is driving because while you're doing that, you're taking away from what you're supposed to be doing, being behind the wheel and being in control of your life. So stay in control of your life by staying in your lane. Do what you need to do. Make sure that you're watching out for other drivers and making sure that other driver ain't bothering you. Yes, do all that. Be alert. But don't be so caught up in what somebody else is doing that you can't do what you need to do. Yeah, that's I guess that's something that's personally that, that drives home to me because there's so many people that worry about other things as opposed to worrying about themselves first. So it's like and that's when people talk about you talk about your haters and all that kind of stuff. That's, those are people that can't stay in their own lane because they may not like the car they're driving or they may not know where they're going. So as opposed to them trying to figure that out, then they stay in their lane and they try to look at everybody else or what they doing or why they doing that? Why is he driving like that? Why is she driving like that? Where she thinks she going? Stay in your lane. Please stay in your lane. And you can even take that little part and cut it and send it to somebody and say, you know what? I think this will bless your life. You need to stay in your lane. They'll be like, what are they sending this to me for? They'll get it eventually. Stay in your lane, all right? Next, um, well, I guess I would say this would probably be like one of my biggest points. Um, you have to be a transmission in order to transition, okay? Being a transmission in a car, that means that little gear shift, the thing that you pull down to drive or to reverse or to go into neutral, you have to take that action in order to actually move. 
put that car in gear in order to actually move. If you're not willing to pull the trigger and go after what you want, then you're not being a transmission. Be a transmission. Be that person that says, hey, not only am I going to talk about doing this, not only am I just going to mention this or talk to everybody, I'm going to make a move to do it. I'm going to be the transmission and I'm going to put myself in gear so that I can get to where I'm trying to go. Because at the end of the day, you have to be a transmission first to test yourself to see what type of engine you really are. You know what I'm saying? Because that that transmission, you, you put yourself in gear, but it's the actual engine that makes it go. But an engine can't do anything until you put it in gear. So it's like you can have all this greatness inside of you. You can have all of these wonderful things that you could actually help people with, help change lives with and things like that. But if you're not willing to put your own self into gear, you'll never get anywhere. Ooh, that's powerful. You know that's powerful. The transmission, the transition and being the engine so you can be put in the gear. Come on. Now you know that that's good stuff right there. So remember that. Be that transmission so that you can transition. Because at the end of the day, you'll never know how great you can be until you put yourself in gear. If I had a mic, I think at this point, I'd like drop it because that's like, that's it at the end of the day. So just remember, be a transmission so that you can transition, all right? Because at the end of the day, your greatness that's inside of you, that engine, it will never ever be tested. You will never see how fast you can go or how well you can do what it is that you can that you do if you don't get yourself in gear. But I hope that this helps somebody. I hope that this will help somebody become a better version of themselves. And I hope that this will inspire somebody to man, hit that transmission and transition their life into their greatness. I love you guys as always. And at the end of the day, I'm out. Peace. In that process or in that whole I'm gonna cut, I wanna start over, fuck. So, be red, ah, damn it. Don't wanna Fine. use that. Cause I can use the ending from the last one. You can? Yep. Okay, so we're good. So we're